as James struggled with his drunken late night purchase. We were wandering around the actual site where, in World War II, 80 prisoners dug a 110 meter escape tunnel from under the stove in one of the huts. It's a story that was immortalized in one of the greatest films ever made, The Great Escape. See you in Piccadilly. Scott's bar. Right. Oh, um, that's not the one, is it? That, f that stove there. Hey, it probably is. Yes, look, 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 look. That's where the tunnel went down. Yeah. And then over to the trees. And actual people actually dug a tunnel out of it. Charles Bronson. No, I mean... Gordon Jackson. <laughs> no, no, real, actual, they're actors, Jeremy. Oh, look at this. These are the trolleys for moving stuff along. Well, look, that's the actual thing that Charles Bronson got stuck on. It wasn't... Th that was... OK. Here we go, look. There's some pictures of the actual people. James Garner, Steve McQueen, Donald Pleasance. No, again, this is from... Look, look. That's the real photograph taken of the tunnel with Dickie Attenborough. Jeremy, you are... We're going to have to sort out the, the, the blurring of fact and fiction there. A lot of what was told in the movie happened. There we are, look. But that Jeremy. wasn't it happening. Gordon Jackson and Dickie Attenborough. No, they didn't film it on the day. I thought it best to take Jeremy outside, where we found the monument that marked the route of Harry, the code name given to the escape tunnel. Bloody hell, it's miles! Yeah. Imagine crawling under here in a homemade tunnel. And this is sand. Mm. So at any moment... Death, yeah. in one form or another. Incredible. We were then joined by a guide. How deep was Harry? It was actually between eight and nine meters, which is 30 feet. Meters? Nine meters. meters. Nine meters, which is, which is actually roughly the size of the tree. Yeah. That's 30, 30 feet. feet. That's Why? Right. Why did they go that deep? There was, a, there was a reason. Uh, the camp was called escape-proof camp, which means Germans, they put underground microphones around the camp to detect any kind of so tunnel. So you had to go deeper than those. So you had to go deeper than the microphone. Yeah. I'm staggered. I cannot believe how long it is. And I now can't believe how deep it was. We then started wondering why they dug it. Because it turns out the prison camp was actually more like a holiday camp. This is the swimming pool? Yep, that's the one. Well, there's no way I'd escape. No, me neither. There was a proper hockey ring right here. What? What? Yeah, there was a huge sport field right behind those trees. And during the winter, they've built a huge hockey ring. So they had a sports pitch, a swimming pool. Library. Library. Theatre. What? Theatre. Are you quite sure that wasn't people trying to tunnel in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guide then showed us what he meant by a theatre. Oh, my God. No. 350 seats, orchestra, pit, stage, backstage. Was it built? Was it was built as a theatre. built as a theatre. Uh, I thought you meant it would be like a shed that they use. Yes, it would be they... like it ain't half up, Mum. God all bloody mighty. If I had been made to go and fight in the war, I would have got myself captured. But you know what they say, we don't care how comfortable camp will be, we'll still escape. It was their duty, they had to escape. Yeah. They did. Having said our goodbyes. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much for filling the gaps for us. My pleasure.